you know, we're actually going to go ahead and make a little bit of breakfast for you here because I'm here at Little Acapulco. It's this little Mexican restaurant right off Airport Highway. If you're driving by, you might pass it by, but I'm here with Robert. Robert, what are we making this morning? Well, today I got a uh, Mexican chalizo plate and uh, a few tacos out with a, an extra large little Acapulco burrito we're going to be making. Today. Let's go for it. Let's just dive right in okay. and get started on what we're doing. What you got there? I got, I got a two-ounce uh, uh, sausage, chalizo sausage stick that we do. Uh, I put it on the grill. Oh, yes. I get it frying. Mm-hmm. And what I do is just smash it all the way down. Oh, yes. Just time and pressure. Yeah. And you can get that. As soon as you press that down, you get that chorizo spice, that smell that hits sure. you right in the face. Yeah, it just opens your whole nostrils. Then, I, then what I have here is a little bit of tomato, a little bit of onion, and two eggs. And what I do is just, just you know, just break them open. Oh, yeah. So how'd you get started doing this kind of stuff? Well, I was in the south end of Toledo off of Napa and Broadway, and uh, that's where the, the, the little Acapulco originally started. But I actually started on the corner of Chewy's Taqueria truck. Uh, I used to start selling uh, tacos and food around the local companies, the Ford and Chrysler and all that. So what I'm doing now is I mix it all together while that's cooking. And uh, so me and my wife just started making tacos and meals at home, and then we just transferred it into the truck. And uh, that's where we uh, we started. So, and uh, yeah, but from there you go ahead and you move forward. You also make this this crazy salsa that you guys also sell over here. Tell me a little bit about this. Oh yeah, that's the great Acapulco little the Acapulco sauce. It's a hot and mild and a mild wild. Now this started out of the kitchen of our home, and uh, actually it started as a vision when I was working at Custom Deco. I had a vision of seeing salsa coming out of the conveyor belt. Went home that night working third shift, and uh, in the morning I told my wife that <clears throat> what I had was seeing, and she said she had the same thing. So we started cleaning out the kitchen, and before you know it, we started mixing and playing with the recipe again, and we just started putting plastic containers going into the street and farmer's market and saving and selling, you know, all that we can go to do forward. So it's a visionary salsa to go with all your authentic Mexican cuisine. Now, we were down the street. We were making fun of your, your neighbors a little further down the way, your, your Taco Bell friends over here. Oh, but if you really want the, the, the authentic stuff, this yeah. is where you come to get it. This is where you come to get it, guys. Now, you're going to let the sauces cook a little bit. If you prepare it. You don't want to overcook it. You don't want to burn it. But then all you do is just pour out your egg right there. Right over the top right of the sausage? The, right over the top of the sausage. And you let it simmer a little bit, you know, just like a scrambled egg. This ain't egg beaters, guys. So, you, you know, real you get the real eggs with the real sausage. The real cholesterol. The real which cholesterol, is good for you. yeah. And you just mix it. You don't want to beat it. You don't want to, you know, you want the color. You want the full oh, body yes. of the texture. And that's how you set it right there. You let it sit for about, you know, a few minutes. A few minutes. Let and, that get going. And, yeah, then let it get going. And from the side, you just flip it over again. You see how it comes together. See, it's just like an omelet. You know, folks, it's awesome. Now, yeah. you were also telling me about this rice you got right here. This That's is the authentic your, rice. How, is it, how do you make authentic rice? How is this authentic Man, I make that from scratch. What I do is a little little cup of oil, let it brown. Make sure you know I put the, the mixtures of my rice and onions and all that to pull it all together. Put a little water, boil it, and make sure you know we got some good home-cooked rice. It smells delicious. It sure. tastes delicious. And you know what? When we come back, I'm going to be making some more special things here. We're going to put some burritos together, some more authentic Mexican cuisine. And if you guys are lucky, maybe I'll bring something back to the studio. All right. So, Robert, what are we making? Let's oh, we're in. making some Mexican authentic uh, tacos. Uh, and then we're going to make a 12-inch super burrito. A super burrito. A super burrito. The super burrito. All right, yeah. so what, what do we got going on these tacos here? What well, is this? we got some uh, steak tacos. They're called beef steak tacos. Uh, they're golden crisp shells. And they come right, you go and in. And they come the right off. The grill. Come right off. Boom. Okay. Three right. take delicious ones couple, right here. A, took a seconds. Okay, to make Now, this, this is all the responsibility I'm going to take into making these. Let's go ahead and put all of our, our uh, cilantro and onions right in here. And then, of course, I just like to hit it with a little bit of lime. Boom. And that's good to eat right there. That's probably the best tasting taco I'm going to have all morning, and I've already had several. So, but what we got going right now, we well, got we this have colossal a little, super burrito. We're going to start this super burrito here. 
That's a lot of beans. That is a lot, That's of, beans. A lot of beans. But this is a this is a double tortilla guy right here. Doubled, we doubled up on it. We today. doubled up on it. What kind of meat we got? This is right a here? taco ground beef taco meat that I make from scratch. Okay, and it seasons to perfection, and we just smooth Seas that out. Yeah, smooth it out right on there. Okay, so we smooth that out right there, and then we add. Your lettuce, tomatoes, a couple of cilantro, little jalapenos. Oh. We put it's that like a all over there. Look at how big that is. And it's huge. How guys. Many, is this for like this for two people, three that, people? That could be for four if you want it. I, it might just be for one, just for me. If it's <laughs> for you, <laughs> then we have it like uh, so. Then we take it over, get a little grill tip. Oh yeah. Made to perfection, guys. That's Bobby's way. Made to perfection. Made to perfection. I want to see how you're going to be able to get this off the grill. This seems like the most suspenseful part of my day is right here. Oh. Oh, master at work. Master he knows at what work. what he's doing. Okay. So here we're going to start one side. Start one side. And, and you got to work it. It's a, it's a process. It's a process. One complete Man. gigantic super burrito. Oh, right yeah. there. And we'll bring it out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now we were talking. We we're going to put something on top of this too. This oh yeah, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. This we're not far, done. This is far from just beginning going to the customer. All the way. All the way over to here. So when we come over here, we have the original, authentic Acapulco enchilada sauce. Oh yeah, right over the top. Pour right over the top. And this is authentic Mexican enchiladas. So this isn't the red or the white yeah, that you typically see. Yeah, you're not going to find this is... nowhere. We just came up with this, guys. Oh yes. So this is a this is a this is debut. a 12 inch tortilla. Another 12 inch tortilla. So that makes 24. This is the yeah, channel yeah. 24 WNWO super burrito super that burrito. we just made right here, right now, live on air. And you said you can have people come in and actually order this today. Yes. If they want to come in, you can get it for what was it? 1224. 12 1224. You can come on in and get the 20 channel 24 WNWO super burrito right here. But if that's a little too much. They got some really, I'd be honored, why don't we share a taco right now? Why don't we, why don't you want to grab All one of right. these guys? Oh, yes. It's still hot, still off the grill. Still Salute. off the grill. Oh, Salute. yeah. There you go, guys. Oh, oh. Joe, well done. O-M-G. Mm. Oh, boy. Perfect. You're so fired up, it sounds like you already had a lot of jalapenos. You were, you were, oh. you were excited about that thing. That thing right there, I love being able to go places and totally make stuff that's totally geared towards our station. That is the WNWO Super Burrito.